Hey guys, welcome back to my series Inside My Micro Bakery. I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery in London called Lily's Loaf. Um, so today it's Tuesday and um, I am mid-bake for my first bake. Um, as you know, or as you may not know, <laughs> I deliver my bread to local businesses and local customers in the area um, on Tuesdays and Fridays. And yeah, so I'm currently, I've got those in the oven just here and then I've got to write out all of my um, packages. So I, as of the 1st of October in the UK, um, it's law by Natasha's law that you have to have all of your ingredients stated on the front of your packaging if you pre-package food, which is what I do. And as somebody with severe food allergies myself, this is the kind of thing that we want to see. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing that right now while these are finishing off. I'll be able to show you um, just because I don't want to show like customers addresses and that sort of thing but I'm gonna do my best and maybe bring you in the car with me and just show you how I kind of do it all but I need to get these written out now and then I've got the afternoon back here to do like admin and newsletter and video stuff so yeah that's the plan today Guys, look at these. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this new tin. So these are from Camp made by Campbell, same guy who made the oven. Um, and I just wanted some bread tins because what I'm always trying to do is trying to minimise the risk of cross-contamination. And I'm still not 100% on using sesame in my products just because it is one of the main 14 allergens. But, oh my god... How gorgeous are these tin loaves? So I've done one for me to try for my lunch and then one for one of my family friends who's been a weekly customer from the beginning um, for them to try and I want their feedback as well. And then I've got all of my lovely ones so it's exactly the same mix but just a different shape. Um, but yeah, these might be easier to toast and just like a nice different shape. And then up here I've got my South London sourdough um, looking lovely too so yeah I really need to get on here yeah, with all of the ingredients on I am um, I ordered up some labels but I don't think they're gonna arrive for another few days so meanwhile I just have to write out all of the ingredients um, which is very time-consuming but you know, has to be done. Yeah, so I'm just about to go down to the cafe and do my first set of deliveries and then go to my local customers too, then head back and finish off my bakes and then do the second set of deliveries. So yeah, I've got to go now because I'm in a rush as per usual. Um...
simple for me. guys so it's a little bit later on now it's about 10 to 12 and I've done all my bakes I've still got cookies to do um, but I did my morning delivery so I got about four done um, still got about 10 to do this afternoon but yeah I am just writing out more packages and then I've got to get the cookies on and then I'm gonna be out the door I might have some lunch first and then go um, but yeah, that is that is the plan for today. Um, I also took a little video, which I'm going to insert here, as to how I plan my routes. So I don't know if this is of interest to you, but if any of you are like setting up your own little small businesses and it involves deliveries, it might be helpful. Um, I've tried various different apps that you have to pay for, or like free ones, and they seem to only go up to about eight or nine stops like route planners or route optimizers. Um, so Hannah and I, my friend who was working with me um, a few weeks ago, um, we just figured out that the best way is to do it on Google Maps, essentially. And we kind of have a rough idea now of the route that we want to go. So I just put in all the addresses and then I drag to reorder them 
so that it makes some sort of coherent sense and it's quite handy because you can see them all on the map and you can visualise it and you can be like, okay, this is probably the best one to start off with today and then work our way back and sometimes you have to factor in timings as well because, for example, Neither Little Love, they always need their loaves first thing in the morning so that makes sense to do the local ones then and then do the further away ones in the afternoon. Um, so that's kind of how I do it and the name of the customer and their address in order of the route that we're going in and then I just whack them into like Waze or Google Maps um, on my phone and that's the way we do it. Um, and I always bring water, I always bring a phone charger, I always bring snacks because the deliveries can literally last anywhere from two hours all the way up to four, sometimes five hours if it's a really busy day. Um, recently I've been getting some help with my sister, she did them, she did the deliveries last week and yeah it's always nice having that, like last week I, on Friday I finished it three or four and I'd done all of my clean up everything by that time which is unheard of on a Friday and that's just because you know the workload is shared between me doing all the baking and packages and everything and her doing the delivery so that's really nice. Um, Every morning I wake up and I get up and I'm driven by the fact that I'm going to get that shot that day and I'm going to get out there and what they do is absolutely up to them and you can't tell anyone what they do but I think that's the hardest thing. it's time for my lunch now so I've got my lovely seed loaf here how nice does that look oh my god right so I think next time I need to put the crust on top so I guess it would just go in the other way around um, oh, it smells lovely I think I'm gonna make a, a toasted avocado chicken sandwich maybe um, the chicken was meant to be for our dinner, but oh. Um, right, I'm gonna go straight into the middle actually. I know it's bad, but. Pretty nice, pretty dense. It's definitely a different crumb altogether. Oh my god, it smells so good. Look at that. Look at that, doesn't that look great? I mean, it doesn't look that lovely, but I'm excited to eat it. Yeah, that's better. That's good. Just so. 